it's my dream to go to Alaska every year. I love it so much. This is like the, the pinnacle of the season. The terrain here is accommodating for progression. Alaska is a game of patience. You have to have the strength to be able to walk away. Patience is the key to staying healthy, and for AK, patience might be the key to survival. It's always a gamble coming up to Alaska. You're always crossing your fingers, hoping for good weather. It's rare for the stars to align with good snow stability and sun, but when they do, it's like nothing compares to it. So that's what we're hoping for. First time sledding in Alaska ever. This is awesome. Eyes on. A lot of wind, kind of dicey day. Cruising, it's weird. not bad for us. We're out our second day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I haven't really been in ice caves, man. This is a new thing for me. I ran out of water today. You know, the best margaritas in the world come from the glacier. You see, that's a little dirty. You don't want that. It's all chipped up. This one, that's nah, not bad. It's got a few fractures in it. Makes it easy for the chipping. Pretty clean, too. That smells good. Oh, this is good. Good margarita right here. This is good for the uh, lemon lime. Santa Glacier, right here. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> My favorite part about this experience is the people you meet in the community there on the pass, they're all there doing the same thing. They're all trying to get gnarly. They're all having a good time. They're all kind of living life on the edge. You just meet some really rich people. Not money rich, rich with life, rich with what they want to do, going and getting after it, having a good time. Tonight I burn an old love letter. Those are the priceless moments, you know, I consider gold. I mean, it's cabin fever. That's what it is, right? There's a term for it here. That's what it is. I mean, you're sitting here and just going nuts inside. Uh, guys that rode here, you know what it's like. You know, you know what Valdez has, you, and, and you haven't seen it for days. And you know, just right up around the corner is the, the biggest hit you've ever hit or the best hit you've ever hit and these beautiful backdrops. It's just right here. And so to be you know, caged up like an animal in these motorhomes is pretty tough. We've hit that python roller tons of times through the years. I've always thought it'd be cool to see a snowboarder hit it. To have John roll in, said, hey, you know, I mean, if you're down, we could tow you into it. And so when he saw it and he was into it, I thought, this is gonna be cool. Tow me in and then you hit it next door. We could hit it at the same time. I'm gonna pack out a lip real quick. It finally breaks and it's like kind of magical. Definitely a case of seizing the day. I can't wait to watch you boost this thing. <laughs> Thank you.
everybody up there is not really backing down from anything. They're there to go and push it to the fullest. To be able to hit a double line with me and John Jackson, that was great. I and mean, that's that's something I'll remember forever, no doubt. We, we uh, put in a fair attempt, I'd say, at trying to drink it blue. Didn't succeed right away, but uh, eventually we got there. So we'll have some good, clean fun out there. John and I have worked before. Right on, Steve. Doing it again, for sure, man. Yeah. Now we go around the corner here. Yeah. Pretty cool clip shot right there. Yeah. You know, when I spot something that excites me, I'm like, oh, I want to do this. First line in AK, baby. Woo! Yes, b -Lo. Got John and Ted. Thanks, b -Lo. Have fun. You push yourself further and further each day, but you gain that confidence and that comfort. This went through. It's Alaska for you. Everything is blind. That was bad. Should have looked at that a little more. That's when accidents happen, man, when you're, when you're a little too antsy. My fault. I really try to listen to my gut, and if it's something that's like a little nerve wracking or a little scary. Let's get off of this. Pretty scary. It's hard. You, you have to have the strength to be able to walk away. I think patience is one of my weakest virtues. Everything you don't succeed at, I feel like you still learn something, and you can take that knowledge into the next thing you try. I just love being, being in that mix, seeing the glory of the mountains. They're so magnificent. It's massive, that's Alaska, everything's bigger. You're going so deep, you're looking up at these mountains and I just feel so small and humbled and happy to be out there. When you walk away from a day like that, it's, you can't explain it. It's one of the best feelings. Patience pays off in Alaska. It's one of the huge disciplines in being able to ride again, be able to, you know, ride another line, be able to do another trick. Don't be sitting on the couch all summer with your knee all elevated and iced up, Epsom salt baths and shit. It sucks. <laughs> Alaskan holiday. I dream to come up to Alaska every year. This is where I want to be. This is where I learn so much. This is where I find my peace and my joy. There's a reason why we do this, man. It makes me happy.